fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal that's ready to eat, Betty Crocker mixes, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Say, I'll bet everyone in your gang loves a chocolate malt, right? Who doesn't? Well, here's a real treat you can plan. Sometime soon, invite the gang over for a chocolate malt. And then surprise them with a Betty Crocker chocolate malt cake mix cake. Imagine all the excitement when they taste their favorite flavor in a cake. A big, delicious, I think you're the best gang in the world kind of cake. You see, Betty Crocker has put real malted milk right in the mix. It's the first chocolate malt cake mix ever. And it's so easy, Mom will have fun baking it. Or you can bake one yourself. Just add water and two fresh eggs. That's all for a perfect cake every time you bake. Cake after cake after cake. It's guaranteed perfect by Betty Crocker of General Mills, Minneapolis. Bake up Betty Crocker's chocolate malt cake mix soon. It's the newest taste in cake. His faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? It was under the leadership of the Lone Ranger that the ranchers of Galway County had united to capture the notorious Turner gang. But on the day the 30-odd road agents and rustlers were sentenced and jailed, and all the ranchers celebrated at the county seat, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were far away. The sheriff regretted the fact as he watched the goings-on with Kerry Mitchell, the owner of the largest spread in Galway. I sure wish the mask man could be here to see how happy he's made, folks. Yeah, maybe he figures the same way I do. That the job isn't finished. Well, what do you mean by that? We didn't catch Rex Turner or Bat Houston. They'll never come back to Galway County. That's easy to say. They've crossed the border into Mexico. And that's where they'll stay. Let's hope so. Anyway, the Lone Ranger will be keeping an eye out for him wherever he goes. Yep, that's why they won't dare set foot in this country again, let alone this county. The Lone Ranger and Toto were searching the country around Tombstone for some sign of Turner and Houston. They stopped at every friendly Indian village and conferred with every lawman they knew. But at the end of two weeks, they had found no clue to the outlaw's whereabouts and started back for Galway County. As they stopped one evening to cook their supper, Toto pointed to a range of distant hills. You look, Kimasabi. Smoke signals were rising to the sky. I see, Toto. Thunder Cloud's village is around here. That's right. That message for you. Has Thunder Cloud seen Turner? No. No, it not say that. It say you come to village plenty fast. Yes, we'll do that, Toto. The fastest silver and scout can get us there. Mon silver! It was midnight before the Lone Ranger and Toto reached the village. A welcoming shout went up from the Indians as they drew rain. 
but it was a cowboy who ran to meet them. It is. It's the Lone Ranger. Howdy, mister. Your face is familiar. You're from Galway County, aren't you? Yeah, I'm Slim Barry. I've been hunting for you for the past two weeks. Thundercloud said the best thing was to stay right here and he'd get a message to you by smoke signal. We saw them tonight. Uh, what's happened? What's wrong? Turner's come back to Galway County. Oh, that's plenty bad. But his men are all in jail. Not anymore, they aren't. One night, just about two weeks ago, Turner blew up the dam. The river flooded, and everybody in town went out to help the ranchers drive their stock to high ground. While we were gone, Turner, Houston, and 20 men they'd brought back from Mexico rode up to the jail, knocked out the turnkey, and opened the cells. Every single one of the outlaws you took prisoners on the loose again. Thirty of them. Now Turner has a bigger gang than he ever had. And things are worse than they've ever been. What have they done? Well, night after the jailbreak, they attacked the Mitchell spread. They captured it. Captured it? Yes. Yeah, there's no other word for it. They're still there. Started turning it into a fort. Evidently mean to use it as a headquarters. And more men came up from the border to join Turner. Uh, I'll swear he has at least a hundred. Night before I left, they went after the Circle A. Killed three men and burned the buildings. Turner evidently means to take over the whole valley. Well, that's what he figured. He held a conference in town. Somebody had heard that you were around Tombstone. He knew you wouldn't refuse your help. Of course not. If we could find you. So they sent me after you. Can you start back with me right away, mister? Yes, Slim. But if Turner has all those men, we'll need some outside help. Soldiers? Well, there's no fort close in Santa Fe. Now, Kimosabe. Yes. That group of soldiers make patrols south of here. Me go bring them to Galway County. Good. Tell them the jailbreak was two weeks ago, and the ranchers' need may be desperate by now. That's only the truth. Me find them. Me tell them whole story. Should be enough to bring them to Galway on the double. Ah. We'll pay our respects to Thundercloud and then leave. The Lone Ranger and Slim Berry made the trip to Galway County in less than three days. Their first stop was in the cover of a grove on the high ground above the Mitchell Ranch. Those are the boys. You see the way I had the windows boarded up. It's a regular fort. There's no sense in trying to drive him out. I don't see many men around. Uh, might be out in a raid somewhere. You've been gone nearly three weeks. I wonder how many raids there have been. I hate to think of it. We'll circle the ranch and head for the sheriff's office in town. Uh, More silver. Uh, there had been a great many raids by the outlaws during the past three weeks. And as they rode to town, the Lone Ranger and Slim found mute evidence of them. Branches, bunkhouses, barns burnt to the ground. And no sign of life anywhere except for the cattle out on the range. It was dark by the time they started down the main street. And on the outskirts of town, there were no lights showing in any of the houses. They're empty, mister. Yes. I figured there were so many ranches burned, the town would be full to burst. I don't see anybody around. There's been fighting going on here. Most of the windows are broken. Has everybody cleared out? There are some lights in the mansion house. Maybe we'll find out there. There are horses out in front. I see them now. This is far enough, Slim. Close to the room. What? Turner attacked the town and won the battle. Oh, you, you think those horses belong to his men? I'm almost sure of it. There's someone coming out of the cafe now. We've been seen. Uh, Beth Houston. Rex Turner. Get up here. No, no use here out of range. The Lone Ranger, there's no doubt about that. The Indian with him? The Indian rides a paint. Well, boss, is this change of plans any? The Lone Ranger's come back. Too late for him to do any good. Doesn't change anything. Get out of your work. You know. All right, men. Get all the supplies loaded into the wagon. I'll take care of the liquor myself. Right. Then what, boy? After we clean out the town. We set fire to it. I'll pass the word along. But the masked man... I you... told you his coming back doesn't change anything. The valley belongs to us now. And you can pass another word along to the men. 
Any time anybody sees a Lone Ranger, they're to shoot to kill. After their escape from Turner's men, the Lone Ranger and Slim Berry rode into the hills and made camp on a high ridge that overlooked the valley. Suddenly, they were attracted by a blaze of light from the direction of the town. Uh, fire. <laughs> yes. Why, they mean to burn it to the ground. That's the way it looks. Go away, city. <laughs> a fancy name for a little cowpoke town, but <laughs> meant home to a lot of them. I understand how you feel. Only there was something we could do about it, but there's only the two of us. What's happened to everybody? The townspeople, the ranchers, and the cowhands. Are those crooks murdered every honest man and woman in the county? That can't be, Slim. Then where are they? We haven't seen anything but crooks and cattle. Quiet, Slim. Uh, look at those flames. Quiet. Silver, here's something. Listen. Hey, uh, somebody riding this way. Right after the point. Easy with your gun. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. All over the country, in every direction, how you, how you doing is the question. And here's one the half that happy people have to say. Weep, oh, we need do, 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 and okay. Okay. That's the word up north. Just ask the champions. Up north, we know what Wheaties mean to guys like Slug and Harvey Keen. We love to see him belt that ball and make the fielders climb the wall. And Richie Ashburn, yes, indeed, he plays baseball at Wheaties' speed. Just watch him flash from base to base. This boy could win in any race. Yes, sir, Harvey Keen and Richie Ashburn are longtime Wheaties fans. Both of them know there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Wheaties. Breakfast of Champions. Keep on eating your Wheaties and you'll be do, 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 and okay. Okay. Now to continue. As the Lone Ranger and Slim Berry watched the burning town from the heights above it, they were alerted by a silver's whinny, and then they heard hoofbeats. They waited, their guns ready. Then... It's all right. It's the sheriff. Sheriff! Who? Who's there? Who's there? It's Slim. I'm back, and I brought the Lone Ranger. Get up there. Get up there. Well, mister, I, I wish I could say it isn't too late. I'm not saying that. The ranches in the valley have gone. Now the town's gone. It's my fault, all my fault. Why do you say that? Well, after Turner moved into the Mitchell Ranch, I got all the men in the valley together. Yes. There was only one thing to do, attack the ranch. But I thought what it would mean in the way of killed and wounded. And I couldn't give the order. I couldn't hold the men together. One after another, the ranchers took their crew back to their own spreads. That's just what Turner wanted. He went after them one by one and burnt them out. And then he went after the town. Yes, he raided it three times. After the third time, we moved out. There were too many women and children to think of. But where are they now? In the hills, high up. You may know the place. It's Hunter's Hollow. We may be safe there for a little while, but what's the use of staying until our supplies run out? The valley belongs to Turner now. We might just as well pack up and head farther west. The valley doesn't belong to Turner, Sheriff. It's he who must be driven out. Mm, but how? We hope a troop of cavalry is on its way here. You hope? Tonto will find them. I have every confidence they'll get here as fast as they can. In the meantime, we must think of the safety of your people. Oh, uh, do you have plenty of arms and ammunition? We have some. Take me to your camp. Yes, sir. <laughs> It was late that afternoon that Rusty pulled his Mustang to a sliding halt, leaped from the saddle, and ran up the steps of the Mitchell Ranch House. Boss! Yeah, what's up? I found him. Oh, that's fine. 
I had a hunch they were still in the hills. Is that where they are in the hills? Hunter's Hollow. Yeah, I know the place. Sure, we should have thought of it right off. Hunter's Hollow, huh? Let me see if I remember. Cliffs to the north and south, ridges to the east and west. We'll top the east ridge as soon as it gets dark. Ride down into the valley and wipe them all out. Not so fast. I haven't finished. Those ridge slopes are open. Well, what of it? They're expecting an attack. They have guards posted. It looked to me as if they were building a rock wall along the top of the ridge. They could line up their men there and mow us down. But we have more men than they do. I got an idea riding back here, boss. Well? We'll go after them just at dawn, just as it's getting light. Yeah? First, we send about 20 or 30 men up the west slope. I can leave them there during the night. We start up the slope just at dawn, but that's only a fake, see, to draw all their guns to the west ridge. Battle have most of our men at the foot of the east ridge. When they hear us shooting, I'll bet they can ride straight to the top and over into the valley. After that, it's simple. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it. Plenty of time to get in position. Pass the word along to the men. All right. By nightfall, the defenses of Hunter's Hollow had been completed. Double guards were posted. And shortly before dawn, the sheriff ordered every able-bodied man to roll out of his blankets. A few minutes later, he and the Lone Ranger patrolled the East Ridge. Every man at his post, mister. But they haven't seen hide nor hair of any outlaw yet. They think it's sort of foolish. This is the best moment for an attack. Well, we must be prepared if it comes. Uh-huh. It's uh, getting light. Up here. Still pretty dark down below. Exactly. Anyone coming up the slope right now will make a poor target. Mm. You think Turner's smart enough to figure out something like that? It's possible, isn't it? Uh, wait, listen. From across the valley, they're coming up the west slope. The question is, how many of them? Must be all of them. I don't see or hear a thing down below here. We can't see clearly down to the timberline yet. But we know there's an attack over there. Why should these men stay here? There are enough men on the west ridge to hold it. We can't leave this side unprotected. But there's no sense in keeping these men here. Look, riding out of the trees. Most of the gang are attacking here. Open fire, men! Rusty's plan to surprise the defenders of the valley failed, and the first attacks were beaten off on both slopes. But the outlaws rallied for a second charge, and they almost reached the top before they were driven back. Then there was a lull. The outlaws disappeared completely from the west slope, and on the east could only be seen far below, resting in the shelter of the pines. The wounded were cared for in the valley, and another conference was held. A lot of those boys won't be able to fight again tonight. I know, Sheriff. Going to stretch our line mighty thin up there on top of the ridge. How's the ammunition holding us? Still plenty of that. Then we still have a chance. What about the troopers? We can only hope they'll get here in time. The outlaw's next assault was concentrated on the east ridge. Turner led the charge and actually reached the top. But in the face of the defender's fire, his Mustang refused to jump the low stone wall. He reared and then bucked. Turner was thrown and landed on the defender's side of the wall. Put a bullet through him. Oh, he'll be more used to us alive. I have an idea. Turner was stunned, and before he could rise, the Lone Ranger was at his side and wrenched the six gun from his grasp. Give me that. Then the masked man pressed the muzzle of his own gun against the outlaw's temple. Turner yelled in terror. Oh, don't shoot. The capture of their leader broke the charge, and the gang retreated once more, leaving Turner behind. Oh, no, don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Keep down, Turner, or you'll stop a bullet from your own men. What are you going to do with me? I'll tell you when your men are out of range. That's about now, mister. All right, Turner. I want you to stand up on this wall. Order your men to throw down their guns. Dismount and march up here with their hands in the air. What if I refuse? Then I'll turn you over to someone else. All right. Let the sheriff arrest me. Not the sheriff. I'll turn you over to the men whose homes you've burned, whose friends you've killed. No. No, no, I'll do what you say. Then hurry up. Bat! Rusty! Tell the boys to throw down their guns and surrender! 
Throw down your guns and surrender. Dismount. March up the hill with your hands over your head. The outlaws heard and understood Turner's command. But what about it, Vance? Are we going to do what he says? Why should we? Well, he's the boss. That doesn't mean he can tell us we should go to jail or we should hang. No. If he was stupid enough to let the Lone Ranger take him prisoner, then he's too stupid to be my boss. He's through. That's right. Let him kill him. We'll do the same for them. We almost reached the top last time. Right. Into your saddles, men. We charge. Come on. <laughs> It didn't work, mister. They're coming after us again. We'll have to stop them again. There aren't as many of us as before. We can't hold out much longer. What's that? It's the cavalry beyond the western ridge. There's the flag coming over the ride. The troopers, with their captain, Tahu, and the color bearer riding in the front, swept down into the valley and on up to the defenders' positions. The Lone Ranger waved them on. The bugle sounded again. Troopers jumped their horses over the low wall and swept down on the outlaws. Some of them surrendered. Some of them tried to escape. Their escape was cut off by a swiftly closing ring of blue uniforms. To a man, the outlaws were killed or captured. Their hands were tied behind their backs, and they were headed down into the valley. There, the captain talked briefly with the Lone Ranger, and then sought out the sheriff who was counting the prisoners. Sheriff? I've been talking things over with the mask man. He tells me there's no jail in Galway City. There's nothing in Galway City anymore. Well, the mask man made a suggestion, and it's within the scope of my orders to carry it out. Uh, what's that? I'm proclaiming martial law in Galway County, on the grounds that a severe emergency exists here, and that only the army can handle it. Our emergency's over. Is it, though? These people have no place to live. They can build new homes. Why should they have to build them themselves? No, Sheriff, this is the way we'll work it. These prisoners will remain in the custody of the army for the time being. They'll be marched down to the site of their old jail. And there they'll build a sort of corral for themselves. A place where my men can guard them. Yes, Captain. But they'll only spend their nights in the corral. They'll spend their days repairing the damage they've done, building homes and ranch houses and barns. And within a short time, they'll get around to building a courthouse. Mm -hmm. By that time, and that's finished, I think we may expect a judge to be here. Captain, that's a fine idea. I agree. Shall we say a constructive idea? Or better still... Let's say an idea that's worthy of the Lone Ranger. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.